I don't like the finicky fooler as a automatic cook setter, but it works really well being used like an iFish Pro. All right, guys. You know, I don't like the finicky fooler as a automatic cook setter, but I have found it works really well being used like an iFish Pro. When you do use it, we'll make sure you clear your ice off, get nice and flat. You know, since it's a flat base, you wanna make sure it's sitting flat. And all I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use the flag part. Set for these trout and wait for the flag to go off. Just like tip up fishing pretty much. Now you take your line from your bale. Make your line right here that comes out of the bale. Put it under this trigger down here. See that? The trigger runs over here to where your flag hooks up. Hook your flag on. You can adjust your tension here by sliding this rubber snubber. So I try to adjust it just, just so it's tight enough to work. It's going to depend on the weight of your, the bait you're using, of course. I'm using a very light, very light bait. He just came up to it. I hope he saw him away. I hope he's back. See, he's right there again. Two fish. They're right there on the bait. Let's see if he flips it, if he triggers it. It's got a fish. Huh. It worked. We're stuck on the ice. There you go. Well, as you saw in this video, the finicky fuel cooler is not a great automatic hook setter. But for you tip-up fishermen and you guys that like the iFish Pro, it's a great way to go. Nothing wrong with it in that aspect of things. That's all, that's all I have for you this week. So much appreciated for all of you that made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And make sure to check back every week for more tips, tricks, and tactics from us here at Real Montana. Later.